hey guys it's sky so welcome back to another youtube video but i've been trying to be a little bit better and consistent with uploading i thought i might as well just do this video because i uploaded a tiktok a couple days ago which i didn't really think anything of it i just uploaded it and it went viral just me telling secrets about the disney show that i was on jesse to start off this will be the last time i'll really be talking about it like that i don't really think i'm gonna do another video like this or really explaining anything because I was on that show what seven years ago I was nine years old so it's kind of over with at this point uh, not that I didn't have fun and appreciate my time on that show it's just I'm 20 now so time to graduate from that um but the tiktok got over 3 million likes and y'all were saying in the comments to do a video on it um just telling y'all secrets about the show some things that was really going on stuff like that i kind of already did a question and answer on this before but this is more geared towards like the work side like um the sets and the schedules all of that so i'm gonna be jumping into that i'm sorry i look a little bit cuckoo <laughs> because I just pulled my hair in this. I had to take my hair out soon. Just clean my face real quick. But if y'all want to know some secrets about the show that I was on. And for me to explain it for one last time. Because I promise y'all. I'm not doing a video like this again. Um, then just keep on watching. Okay so I'm going to go on TikTok. The video I posted. It got 12 million views. This is the one I'm talking about. See This one. So the title of this video that I posted is things about the TV show Jesse you wouldn't know. But I'm just going to start off with the basics of kind of what I talked about in this video so I started talking about the living room the penthouse I'll attach a picture right here of the inside of what the penthouse looked like you can see the steps and everything um so for one I want to make it clear we did not film in New York I know that the show was based in New York and everything but we filmed in sunny Los Angeles that penthouse was not a real penthouse it was fake it was a built set so we worked on a lot called at the time it was called hollywood center studios and your a lot of your favorite shows used to film there casey undercover would film there austin and ally Liv and maddie and then also non-disney shows too like that mtv show ridiculousness would film there sometimes they would sometimes film movies i remember seeing like ryan gosling on set walking around my lot i forget what movie they were filming but um point of the matter is our set well our lot a lot of disney shows and other things from there so we were i think our stage number was three slash eight that was ours and uh we had dressing rooms we had everything and then you would go on set and each set you would see on the show or y'all probably thought it was real some of y'all thought it was real was actually a built set so central park was never real that was a built set all the little trees and the rocks those are all fake we had people on set that would build those things for us uh whenever you would see the stairs and the 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 penthouse living room a lot of y'all ask what does the stairs lead to it literally leads to nothing here's a picture right here uh there's cameron he's on top of the steps it literally needs to nothing you go up the steps and it's like a like a balcony up there and we would just stand up there until the scene was over and come back down but that was supposed to lead into our bedroom so i think one episode y'all saw ravi's bedroom my bedroom i don't know if y'all ever saw luke's bedroom y'all saw bertram's bedroom when he was like at the hoarder and had all that nasty crap <laughs> in his room that's where it was supposed to lead to but of course you can't build sets up there so it was a whole separate thing the lobby was fake there was no hotel a lot of i saw a lot of comments on tiktok saying oh i went to new york to try to find the penthouse y'all are at i don't know where y'all were going because that was not real i think the outside of the penthouse was probably a real apartment or penthouse in new york it probably was because you know sometimes they would take shots from new york and incorporate it into the show so i'm sure that was a real penthouse um but it just was not ours i've never seen that in my life we've never we've never even stepped outside to film any of the scenes that y'all would see the only time we were ever outside was the last episode when jesse went to hollywood to live her dream and i don't know if y'all remember when we were on the golf cart coming down that was actually our real 
like the real place where we filmed at. That was the lot that we filmed at, Hollywood Center Studios. I think it's called like Sunset Las Palmas Studios now. They changed the name, but I know it as Hollywood Center Studios. Um, that's the only time we have ever been outside to actually film. Everything else was built sets. Everything was a built set. Um, we literally filmed inside of a building. Inside of a building that had no windows, okay? There was no windows. We literally, and I'm not even trying to make it seem like a bad, we would literally only go outside to eat lunch or to leave to go home uh, other than that we stayed indoors we we did not see the light of day while we were filming um but of course why would they have windows inside of the sound stage but i'm just letting y'all know that was one thing i wanted to talk about all the sets were fake y'all asked about the new year's episode with also nelly the when we went to did we go to africa I, it was somewhere we went i don't care what it was y'all i don't care if we said we went to hawaii or we went to london on the show we were not really there those were all built sets you know how expensive it would be to have to fly everyone to Africa and then pay people to film the show and no, that would be way too much. But what I will say is the only thing that was real on the show were the animals. So when we had like the zebra on the show, um, I think that was my gotcha day episode when the day that they adopted me, that was a real zebra. We had an ostrich on the show before. Most of the animals were real. So I will say that Mrs. Kipling, a lot of y'all asked about that. Is Mrs. Kipling real? Well, first off, Mrs. Kipling is really a boy in real life. His name is Frank, but rest in peace to him because Frank passed away. Probably, I don't know if it's been a year yet, but it's damn near been a year since he passed away and he was he was really old he was really old frank was real mrs kipling was a real lizard okay we did have a real one but we also did have a fake one so i'm gonna try to attach a picture here of like the difference between the real and the fake one i'm gonna put the real one on this side fake one on this side Whenever you would see Mrs. Kipling, like let's just say we're in the penthouse, right? Or the kitchen. Whenever you would just see her chilling, like literally just sitting there the whole time, that was the fake one. Unless they would do a close-up shot and you would see her move and her tongue move, then that was probably real. But they also did have fake um, body parts of the lizard, like robot body parts that would move. So whenever you would see Mrs. Kipling hit the elevator door button, that was fake. The real lizard could not do that. They would have a fake tail part and they they would just zoom in on the part that you will only need to see in the show and have the fake tail hit the button. Whenever you would see like Mrs. Kipling hand hit something that was most likely fake, a real lizard is not gonna do that. And I think they had a fake head too. But y'all need to realize that a lizard is a lizard. A lizard is not an actor. If anything, those lizards are supposed to be in the, the wild where they, where they are. But you know, they need animals for TV shows. So the lizard that we had on the show would not even be, wouldn't even be able to live a regular life. Life. Like if you were to just send Mrs. Kipling in the wild, she would probably, well, he would probably pass away because he wouldn't know how to, you know, do what regular lizards do because he's a, he would work on set. He, he had a job. Again, lizards are lizards at the end of the day. So there got, there was a point where we had used Mrs. Kipling a lot, like the real one, but then it just got to a point where they stopped doing that because, Otis, please, my dog wants to start going off. Um, they stopped doing that because it would just take a lot of time, a lot of effort, and at the end of the day, it's a lizard. Um, someone said they did a really good job on the sets. As a kid, I always thought it was real. They did a really good job on the sets. They really did. They put a lot of effort, um, and they would have to build those sets really fast because sometimes, like for instance, um, the main things that would stay on the soundstage all the time were, of course, the penthouse, the lobby for the most part, and Central Park. Those are the sets that were mainly there all the time. But for instance, like Zuri's bedroom or Ravi's bedroom, that would never stay there. It was only for that. It would take a week, well not a week to film the episode, but we would work on one episode for a week. So Monday through Wednesday, we would rehearse and all of that. Thursday, Friday, we would film the episode. And then by Monday, we had Saturday, Sunday off. By Monday, we we're on to a new episode. So if the bedroom was not incorporated in the next episode, they would tear it down. And sometimes a new set had to be built. Um, like for instance, Mrs. Chesterfield's apartment building. That was not there all the time. Or the restaurant where Mrs. Kipling's babies, you know, they were in little eggs and whatever. So a lot of sets were not there all the time. Disney is gonna sue me. This is not a secret. This, this is not a secret. I'm not telling anything that is a secret. If anything, if y'all are day one fans, y'all probably will watch the behind the scenes 
um, when the new little news outlets would come to the set, little bop, what are the teeny bop, teeny, I forget what it's called, the little teeny bop magazines and the clever TVs, they would come to set all the time. Someone said, wait, what about the balcony? It was never a balcony. Like they had, the, the balcony was on like one level. We were never high up, anything like that. When they would do like a POV shot of the balcony, like you know from like afar, I'm sure that was somebody's real balcony, a real balcony in New York, but no, we were never on a balcony. Again, everything was just built on set. So it was, it looked like it was high up, but it wasn't. We were on the same floor that you would just regularly walk in. It was not anything high up, not even one level up. Someone said it was never Central Park. Central Park was not real. Um, someone said, I understand the park and stuff, but the I mean, the penthouse and stuff, but the park, sorry girl, that park was not real. I'm trying to see some of these questions because a lot of it is, y'all keep saying the same thing. Central Park wasn't real, no. Someone said, that's actually crazy. I really thought it was just a sick penthouse. The penthouse is really cool. Like my favorite thing about the penthouse I'm gonna try to find a picture and insert it here. Was the wall with all of our faces on it. I wanted to bring, I wish I could bring that home with me. Just to have it in my house because that was really cool. That was like my favorite part, my favorite thing in the penthouse. I think that is gone. Uh, the whole set is torn down. Everything from that set is torn down. Y'all asked about Bunk 2, the show that I was on Bunk. Everything on that was fake. We was never in a lake, we was never in real um, little camp houses, whatever, whatever the bunks that the kids be in. We was never, um, even the grass we walked on was not real. It was not real. Nothing about it was real. It was never a real cafeteria. Um, sometimes they would put us like in a little boat and it would it would have water in it. Like think of a, a big pool, right? And they would have like a green screen behind you. And they would just green screen in like if we were actually to be, I don't know, on the lake. We never have been in the lake before, but they would put us in real water sometimes. Someone said, thank you for sharing the information. How did you feel when you were driving the golf cart on the last show? I mean, that was easy. It's a golf cart. It was fun. Could you do a video on Camp Kikiwaka? Um, I'm going to just incorporate it with here, too. Everything was fake, y'all. I'm trying to think what else. Like I said, each set was built individually. So you had, when you would go on set, you had, you know, you would see the little houses, the little, where little kitties be in, um, and then the grass. And that was like one big set. That was the biggest, the biggest thing on our set was that because it was so big. And then actually when you would go to the uh, cafeteria, that was, that was like one long set. It wasn't like how Jesse was where the lobby was here and then a couple spaces down was the penthouse and a couple spaces down was that. Grass area just led right into the cafeteria. You could walk through the doors and that part was real. Like we would actually walk in there, but it was not a real cafeteria. It was just a built set. The bunk set, took up a lot more space than the Jesse one did, just because they needed to look like a really big camp. What about when you guys went on the elevator? It was a built elevator, but we would never go up. It would just stay on one floor. It was not a real working elevator. It was just a built set. Um, what about the episode when y'all was on the train in New York? Okay, so that, I'm trying to remember, but if I could remember, they did get a real train. They did get a real train. Now, the train station part, like where we, where you would normally wait for a train if you're from New York, that was a built set. The whole thing was a built set. But if I could remember, it was, it was a portion of a real subway train. In the last episode, were y'all actually on the letters of the Hollywood sign or was it edited? It was built. Um, they had, the, the letters were real. Like they made the letters, but we were never that high up in the air. No, everything was just cheated with the camera to look like it was high up. Not Disney telling us a lie. Like I thought you guys were so lucky to film in a huge penthouse in New York, but no. No, and I saw a lot of comments saying, oh, isn't it common sense that they were filming on a, a built set, it, that it was never real? No, because there are shows, like I filmed a show for Fox, um, a pilot, it didn't get picked up. But that show, we did not film in any built sets. Everything we filmed in, like from the house we were in, was a real house that they rented out. Every single day we were on location. We filmed outside for the most part. Like real life, like real life just cameras following us. It was never anything built. So there are TV shows that um, film. Hey YouTube, 
Yes, and if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna take your soul. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, y'all. My friend Arrington called me. Someone said, why did I leave bumped? And we all left bumped. I wasn't the only one that left. And because one, my um contract was up. When you film any time, any show, not just Disney, you gotta sign a contract. And it could be like four years or whatever. And my contract was up. All of ours was up. I wanted to go on to new things. I wanted to do something else. I was tired of playing the same character. So a lot of y'all asked me that too. Would I do another Jesse show? Like if they were to make one? No. Not because like I don't love the people I worked with. It's just that character is <clears throat> gone. And I don't mean <clears throat> in a bad way. I'm just saying like, like, you know, her time is done. Zuri's time is done. She was here from like eight years old to 16. So, yeah. So I said, was the hallway where the rooms were a separate set than the actual rooms? Yes, so the hallway, the hallway was a built set and you would see our doors, but the doors when you opened it led to nothing, literally nothing. It, everything was separate, everything was separate. The only thing that was connected that I could think of was um, the penthouse the kitchen it would go right into the kitchen but that whole thing was connected the kitchen um the movie theater i don't think they ever got rid of the movie theater set that was connected in the balcony that whole thing was connected that was one big set but the bedrooms everything else like that was not connected and gi jesse when she went to see her father when she blew the trumpet to wake y'all up. Did you and Cameron actually have to fall? Um, I don't even remember that. I'm sorry. I really don't remember that. That was so long ago. But I'm sure, yeah, if y'all, if you saw us fall, we probably did, but it probably, we probably didn't. We just probably fell like on a, a cushion mat on the floor. Someone said, I understand the stairs in room, but the park was fake too, shaking my head. Um, the giraffe was real. Did we have a giraffe on the show? I can't remember. But the animals are real, yes. I hate knowing shows aren't actually filmed in houses where you think they are. It just destroys it for me. Some are. Some are. A lot of TV shows will pay somebody to rent out their house for some months. Like pay them a big chunk of change, rent out their house, do whatever to it. And um, yeah, some of them are real houses. Are the people in the back real people or no? Yes, those are background people. So those people were <laughs> always real. They were never like CGI'd in, but yeah, we did always had a lot of background people in the park or the camp. Um, it was, you know, a lot of kids, um, the little camp counselors. We had those people in the background, but those are real people. But yeah, I think this is pretty much it for this video because my camera's about to die. But basically, everything on the show was fake, it was never real. Um, I'm, try I'm trying to find other questions, but if I find more, I'm gonna come back and record more, but my camera's about to die. Everything else is fake, y'all. Sorry to break it to you, it was fake. I knew it was fake. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, quickly, another thing that was fake too. Um, Nanny Agatha, her tooth was never like that. She never had a mole like that. She was actually pretty as heck. She was so pretty and they made her look ugly like that. That's another thing that was fake too. So sometimes, you know, on the show, you would see people and they never acted like that in real life. It was just a character. But yeah, Nanny Agatha was not even mean. Mrs. Chesterfield, that's another one too. Mrs. Chesterfield is a sweetheart. She's not mean in real life. Um, so don't actually think these characters are mean or act the way that they do. It was all fake. Everything was fake, y'all. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Y'all are the best. And I'm going to do more videos. You're probably going to see a video with me and Arrington next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I love y'all. Bye.